Are we broke because we're sick? Or are we sick because we're broke? Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American essayist and philosopher who lived in the 19th century, he used the phrase first. He said, health is wealth. In the context of American people, stating that health is of utmost importance than wealth. And its true sense, and in its true sense, health is only the real wealth of a person. So a cursory look at the Nigerian health sector really gets us thinking. If indeed health is wealth, how rich would you say we are in Nigeria? Also, if indeed health is wealth, it is rather apparent that only the rich in Nigeria are rich, right? Play on words. Unfortunately, our country is one where human life is not taken as seriously as you would expect. Perhaps we've not been deliberate enough to see how health contributes to wealth. Some statistics might help. You know, looking at some of the best medical sectors in the world, incidentally, happen to belong to the top 21 countries with the highest GDPs, and then have also the lowest debt profiles. So let's start with Sweden. GDP, $530 billion. The health system, you know, they have a decentralized universal healthcare system for everyone. Sweden's life expectancy is 82.4 years old. This surpasses the life expectancies in Germany, the UK, and the United States. Sweden also has one of the lowest maternal and child mortality rates in the world. There are 5.4 physicians per 1,000 people, which is twice as great as in the US, the UK, and 100%, let that sink in, 100% of births in Sweden are assisted by medical personnel. Let's talk about Germany. GDP, $3.9 trillion. The German healthcare system is a dual public-private system that dates back to the 1880s, making it the oldest in Europe. Healthcare in Germany is funded by statutory contributions, ensuring free healthcare for all. Again, let that sink in, free healthcare for all. Germany is one of the biggest spenders on healthcare in Europe. It spends 11.1% of its annual GDP on healthcare expenditure. Only Switzerland and France spend more in terms of GDP percentage. German healthcare spending works out at just over 4,000 pounds, 4,000 euros per inhabitant every year. Final example, Denmark, $350 billion in GDP. The healthcare in Denmark is largely provided by the local governments of the five regions with coordination and regulation by the central government. The central government plays a relatively limited role in healthcare in Denmark. Its main functions are to regulate, coordinate, and provide advice. Life expectancy in Denmark has increased from 7.9 7 years in 2005 to 80.6 years, almost 81 years, in 2015. Danish women have a higher life expectancy, it's 2.5 percent, it's 2.5 years in 2015 than Danish men, 78.6 in 2015. In Nigeria, currently, Nigeria's healthcare system ranks among the lowest in the world. A study from 2018 in the Lancet of Global Healthcare Access and Quality looked at 195 countries around the world, and Nigeria scored 142nd. Nigerians usually have to pay for medicine out of their own pocket. Often the medicine is expensive and difficult to afford. In 2019, on average, healthcare made up 6% of Nigerian household spending, with higher figures in the rural areas than in urban areas, for obvious reasons. Resident doctors in Nigeria have been on strike for about six to eight weeks. Technically, there's an MOU in place now waiting to be signed after several lives have been lost and another proposal to borrow money added to the already sinking debt profile. So again, I ask, are we broke because we're sick? Or are we sick because we're broke? Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I want to also add to this conversation that you did it add? You missed out the fact that Denmark is just about the size of Cardinal State. Mm -hmm. Germany is about, it's less than quarter the size of northern Nigeria. Mm -hmm. These three states put together, we can three either dump them yes. in north or southern Nigeria, Nigeria. and mm -hmm. there will still be space. Mm -hmm. So, please tell me, and the Danish, I think they are just, they are known for milk. Yeah. Their so cows don't walk around now. They are one place. <laughs> oh, what is happening, Niger? <laughs> you know, I was really happy during COVID. <laughs> I was really happy during COVID because we're all trapped here, mm. rich or poor. Mm -hmm. uh, if you notice, we had some high-profile deaths. 
I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, it's almost as if you knew what I had written about. Anyway, we'll get to the way that Nigerians can survive. Right. But very nice article. I wish you had given us our GDP. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, also, you know, yeah. and our own life expectancy, just so that we could see the stark reality of what we're living with. And uh, following up on what Kule said about, you know, the sizes of these countries and all. But you see, this is what happens when a government is deliberate. If we were as deliberate, I mean, America is a whole continent. Absolutely. Are they not living well too? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean, by, mm -hmm. by many standards, they're living much better than we are. So it's, it still mm -hmm. goes back to the issue of leadership, what we care about, who is pushing what, and where and for what interests. We, the interests in this country are largely driven by, not by you know, justice or fairness. I, I mean, with all due respect, I understand that the doctors are not happy. How many times are we going to go through this in, in every other year? At what point will you sit down you know, and think and say, you know what, we, we need to get what we need to get without because this is what i swore to i remember so, i remember the first time i heard of dr strike then professor he was doctor then dr olukoe ransom kuti was minister of health mm. i was in primary school it has continued he has died yes. mm. governments have changed over 12 13 governments have That's changed what, yes. we are Nothing still happened. in the, i've gone from primary school to university to having a son that's now in, or at that level and i'm still going through the exact same, same thing, thing yeah. and it's not only that we are not deliberate look at how much people spend on health yeah to top it nigeria has a our a health health uh, pension scheme and it mm. Is that not where they found six billion inside somebody's roof? Mm. How can we continue like this? Oh. If you go back to that, COVID. You know, I'm very upset with the amount no. of money that was given to Nigeria for COVID. Yes. And I wondered, you mean there wasn't somebody in that circle, on that panel, that uh, committee, that group, whatever they call themselves, that would have said, you know what, now that we have this thing, right? And we how can't do, escape. How Let's do... build a hospital. Okay. This is so hard. I mean, we are all going to die here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it comes down again to value for human life. Mm -hmm. I think it's really as simple as that. No, I don't, I don't think, think that will value human life. I don't think it's value for human we life. Have because people are dying. Do you, know why yes. I know, do you know why I know it's not value for human life? So I have this friend, he's within the governance system in an eastern state. Yeah. And then people that come from that eastern state, old, old doctors that were retired, spoke to their friends abroad that there was no primary healthcare center. They were going to stock up a hospital, A1. Hmm. Guess what? They chopped him. The state health mm -hmm. uh, commissioner of health in that state refused to agree. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are building the hospital for free, but they say no, they want dollars. How many dollars are they giving them? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. turn down the hospital when you don't have one to ask for dollars. And that's mm -hmm. what goes on. Mm -hmm. It's just very painful. Like anything else is supposed to be number one. To, will be number one. Like anything else. Because how long do we are we going to keep traveling mm -hmm. to treat malaria? A lot of our politicians travel. They tra during COVID, COVID was very beautiful because nobody had to, nobody could leave Nigeria. But how long do we keep traveling to, to, to treat malaria, to treat uh, typhoid, and get health care? You want to say one sentence? Mm -hmm. Come on. You want to say something? Yes, but I was going to say that if they really value human life, I don't see how you are a leader and the well-being of your citizens is not number one in your mind and you're able to sleep mm. with your eyes closed. You should have a conscience. I mean, health is wealth, like you said. Where, oh my God. Where are we going to... How do I put this? Um, Draw the line? No, like... How can we move forward when you know that because majority of people who don't have access to quality health care are the poor. And the percentage of the poor people here in the country is way more than the rich mm -hmm. who can easily take care of themselves in private hospitals. Yeah. So we just need to... It's not even that easy because, because even me now, when my mom tells me she's going to the doctor, my heart is beating. Because by the time she goes and comes back, 100K has died easily. Yeah. That's also every month I'm praying, God, please have mercy. Let her not fall sick. Please have. So, and as she stays as a Nigerian, even with me in this class, it's with prayers, my dear. Yeah, everybody, everybody's touched by it. I understand that the yes. doctors 
need money, they can't prescribe drugs or perform some certain operations or diagnosis without some certain um, equipment. Facilities. But still, I mean, I can't remember what that doctor's vow is, but the health of your patient should be number one. I understand that you can't just leave them to be because you're not being paid. It could have been that they may have not have done their best and they've decided to go on their strike. <laughs> yeah. No so, idea. guys, let's, I mean, we can go. This is a whole, mm. you know, one hour mm. topic if we wanted to get on it. We've not even sort of scratched the surface, mm. but I think we've thrown out a few important points. So, um, comfort rounds of the show after this break. Don't go away.